Okay, we are on. Okay, Cookie, you, we think we have the scorpion problem under control. Finally, I can put my shoes back on. Oh, oh my God! Well, that's the thing. There was gluten in all of the donuts I brought in this morning. So if she's so allergic to it, why isn't she dead now? Marcus to set. Marcus, you are 17 minutes late for your call. Marcus to set. Is anyone here like a, a throbbing? That's the best way I can describe it. Just like a throbbing sound. Like a, like a deep throbbing. Come on down to Barbecue Street all week for some great deals on food and fixings. Mondays, it's 25% off Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings. Tuesdays, it's 50% off whatever Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings are left over for Monday. Wednesday, we've got 10% off our famous dry spice ribs. But make sure to come back on Thursday for 60% off a sampler platter of Monday's leftover Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Wednesday's dry spice ribs. Fridays, we kick things up a notch when you can get a free order of Buffalo Blasted Chicken Wings and Dry Spice Rib Soup just for walking in the door. And you're not going to want to miss Saturdays when we'll give you 10 bucks just to take some of these rotten chicken wings and ribs out of here. You don't even have to eat them. You just have to take them with you. Sundays, we're closed to hose the place down. Barbecue Street. You're probably going to want to come in on Monday. The perfect cup of coffee. That's what we pour at High Horse Coffee House. But it's not for everyone. Frankly, your taste buds probably can't appreciate how complex and rich our coffee is. And you know what? It angers us to think of you drinking it. Okay, there it is. And hey, let's take it a step further. We despise you. Our coffee is f***ing amazing and complex. And it's like from another f***ing dimension. But it's wasted. It is wasted on you. I would rather... Pour our coffee on a pile of manure, then let it touch your tongue. That's right. You rate lower than steaming manure piles. So stay away. You just stay away, or so help me, I won't be held responsible for my actions. So remember, that's High Horse Coffee House on Historic Mansion. No, you know what? F*** you. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? I can't hear myself. I don't think it's working. If I could have everybody who thinks they're doing a good job just do okay, so better so because you're not, okay? You guys, you guys think I'm being on this no, I, I don't think it works. It's not projecting right. Use the oboe? Yeah, just I think if I was going to eat somebody, I'd start with a thigh. Thighs always mean eat. It's the best on a chicken. I feel like it's probably the best on a person. Could be, could be. Put sriracha on it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, almost. Hello? Hello? No, I don't think it works. Yeah. Uh, don't you hate going to the movies by yourself? I mean, I do. We have so much in common. I mean, maybe you and I should sometimes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, whatever. I guess there aren't any good movies showing right now anyway, so never mind. Forget I said anything. That was stupid. <laughs> this message paid for by people who think you and Tina should go out on a date sometime just to see how it goes. That's so... This is You Don't Know Jack 2015. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. And hey, wipe that smile off your face. This is serious. Okay, just kidding. There will be farts and stuff. You know, if the four of you get real close, it's like Mount Rushmore. There are your screws to get you started. If you think an opponent doesn't know the answer, hit your screw button and you'll force them to answer immediately. If they miss it, you win big. And your wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... The San Francisco Otter Choir. Free concerts every Wednesday, except for mating season. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> All right, let's move. Get ready, time for question. One. Let's begin with Bootyful. Let's analyze one of Kim Kardashian's body parts. About what percentage of Kim Kardashian's brain is just made up of water? 10%, 40%, 80%, or 100%? Kim
Kim Kardashian's brain, and everybody else's brain for that matter, is made up of about 80% water. <laughs> but that other 20% is just so round and firm, I can't stop thinking about it. Here we have, his acting is alright, alright, alright. So, you know how they called Matthew McConaughey's resurgence as an actor his McConaissance? Well, if Matthew McConaughey is currently experiencing a McConaissance, then what period of his life just ended? The McConaughey Dark Ages? The McConaughey Industrial Age? The McConaughey Middle Ages? Or the McConaughey Enlightenment Age? Player two, sucks to be you. <laughs> Players three and four, good effort, good effort. <laughs> Player one, the Renaissance first occurred in Italy in the late 14th century, immediately following the Middle Ages. So the Meconaissance would follow the Meccana Middle Ages. Which is funny because most Renaissance sculptures also need to put on a damn shirt. Take a good look at, brought to you by the letter U, Nebrow. It's the put the choices into order, then buzz in and see if you are right. Question. And if you get this one right, I'll rustle up some extra moolah for you. Arrange these Sesame Street characters in order of fewest to most eyebrows. Bert, Ernie, the Count. Ernie, Bert, the Count. Bert, Ernie, the Count. The Count, Bert, Ernie, or Ernie, the Count, Bert. Time's a wasting. Player two. The Count would be so disappointed. I so wanted you to pick this one. Ernie has no eyebrows at all, Bert has one long single eyebrow, and the Count has two. Two eyebrows! <laughs> and yet, none of them have ever blinked. Why not try Duck Duck Swan? Say the cast of Duck Dynasty attends a performance of Swan Lake and thinks there are real waterfowl on stage. In their confusion, which character would they most likely shoot? Siegfried, Benno, Von Rothbart, or Odette? short players one and two Odette is a princess who has been turned into a swan so the duck dynasty crew would probably fill her full of lead <laughs> especially if they find out she once fooled around with a lady swan in college and now the man in the backwards yellow hat. And it's a dis or dat. Player two? You seem to be behind, so why don't you play this dis or dat? I'm going to read off seven things, and for each one, you tell me if it's an alleged antic by pop star Justin Bieber, or an antic by the classic children's book character Curious George. If it's Justin Bieber, press the square button. If it's Curious George, Press the circle button. The rest of you ought to pay attention. Lock in your answers before player two does, and if player two gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone who got it right. We good? Here we go. Peed in a mop bucket. Broke his leg falling from a fire escape. Arrested for falsely reporting a fire. At the house. Got high on ether. Fed a bugle to an ostrich. Went to a Brazilian brothel. Forget George, I'm curious how someone could do this badly.
I think we can all agree that it's time for that little bastard to get deported. And then it's your turn, Bieber. <laughs> That's all we got for round one. And player one is in the lead. But that could change mighty quick. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And hint, hint, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer to the game. Well, no time like the present. Since there appears to be four of you, we'll go twice around, everybody getting to do two drawings. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm sending a title to each of your devices. Something unusual, like Direwolf or Poppin' Lock. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit send. And you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, don't mess this up.
out all your drawings, it's time for some fun. Home. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. All right, who picked what? Everybody was just way off on this one. And now this. Type in a convincing title now. What did everybody pick? Hey! Nobody? Nobody got that one. Well, okay then. Next up. Here's everybody's picks. Hey! I like this group of players. I don't know why. I just do. Thing. Hey! And here are your picks. Hey!
Does anyone pay attention to the things I say here before going to the score tallies? I don't think they do. I really don't. Okay, get ready to draw again. The new titles should be on your devices now. You are a little nervous because we are about to look at all your weird, weird drawings. Oh. Put in your titles now. Here's everybody's picks. Are we done with this one? I think we're done with this one. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Choices. <laughs> 
Well, I thought it was obvious. I guess I was the only one. Let's take a look at our next piece of art. What did everybody pick? Hey! You know, like the show, Dexter. Anyone remember that show? Enter your titles now. Oof, everyone got that one wrong. Hey!
to each of your devices. Something weird, like Sexy Owl or um, Mark Cuban. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title, and when you're done, hit Send, and you'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, start drawing. Go, now! Oh. Let's get to the good part. Oh. Now, use your device to type in what you think the title for this picture could have been. Or better yet, something you think could trick the other players into thinking it's the title. You'll get points for every player that picks your answer. Everybody's picks. I'm just glad that we all got to share this moment. 
You're all wrong. Everybody's wrong. Anything you can think of. Hey! 
Hey! And here are your choices. Hey! What did everybody pick? I'm learning so much about your weird, weird minds. Type in a convincing title now. Okay, here are your choices. Here's everybody's picks. Hey! Cha-ching! 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 I should probably be saving these drawings or something. choices. Everybody messed up. Walk it off. Walk it off. 
Everybody gets to draw again. The title should be on your devices now. Okay, weirdos, let's take a look at your artwork. Oh. Enter anything that could almost make sense now. Ah! Hey! What did everybody pick? Hey! All right. Well, we're done with that now. Okay, here are your choices. Oh? Hey! 
Look! Pick something. All right, who picked what? I don't know what to say about that one, so I won't say anything. Put in your titles now. Hey! And here are your picks. Hey! Total failure by everybody. <laughs> And now, this thing. Here's everybody's picks. Oh, 
no one got that one right. Yikes. Let's do this one. What did everybody pick? I don't know what that expression means, and if I did, I still wouldn't explain it to you. Okay, our next drawing. Okay, so that happened. Hey!
Yeah. Dan had the excuse to be like, oh, I had a, a work project. No, I actually didn't have a work project. Yeah, you did. You actually did. So, yeah. But well, you wouldn't have gone, you wouldn't have gone. I was thrilled, no, I, don't get me wrong, I was thrilled that I wasn't invited. And then I was thrilled that I was uninvited and re invited and then said no. I was thrilled about all of that, but I did also have a work So this 789, apparently really good Prosecco. Going to be good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hello, Italia. Okay. I just poured it anyway, in yeah. Sarah's a fucking married cunt and she's uh, a Okay, okay, guys, I got I got a new rule. Uh no no dead no animals cunts. on the table. Two 